All right, got a letter here in the mail the other day. Um, it says, name is Adam here, no last name. All right, read it here. It says, Brian, you keep teaching on your YouTube channel and others that God is three parts, not three persons. Have you lost your mind? I got to thinking about that. Um, no, I'm pretty sure it's still up here. Okay. Surely you understand that the English language does not have to use the word person to teach somebody as a person, right? Okay. Um, you just simply need the word he. You do understand what the word he means and what it can and how it can be used in English, I assume. Apparently not. <laughs> a little double speak here. So I've enclosed a few things to help you out. All right. Um, there is distinction in the Godhead. Okay. But if you're trying to say that there are three persons, you're not dealing with Scripture. You're dealing with man-made tradition. Now, if you're trying to say, you know, that, I mean, there's a lot of us that have made the mistake of adopting a lot of this Trinitarian language, and we'll say God in three persons or whatever else. Peter Ruckman was famous for this. He would say Trinity, and he would say three persons, and God the Son, God the Spirit. He, he used that language. But then when he explained it, he said, God the Father is the soul, Jesus Christ is the body, the Holy Ghost is the spirit. Uh, again, people will post videos of Peter Ruckman is a Trinitarian. And you listen, and he's teaching what I teach. But he uses the Trinitarian language. All right? I used to say that you know the person of Jesus Christ, or that there are three persons. What I'm meaning by that is body, soul, spirit. Now, you can say three parts. If you're, using, if you're believing that, that you know, Jesus Christ and Him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you're saying, but there's three different persons and that they can separate and whatever else. Well, you're not dealing with Scripture. You're not showing what the Bible actually says. And that's my issue. Again, understand th things here. I'm trying to get people back to the King James Bible. And when I see any kind of papal tradition or any kind of thing like that, I'm going against that. Understand my heart's desire here is to get people back to the King James Bible as their final authority in all matters of faith and practice. All right? That's what my, my goal, my mission is. That's what it always, it's always been. That's why I'm subject to change if somebody shows me and says, hey, you know what, the Bible does teach so-and-so or this or that or whatever. Okay, then I'll go back to the Bible. But you can't show me three persons in Scripture. It's not there. All right? Uh, God, man is made in the image of God. Man has a body, a soul, and a spirit. God would naturally have a body, a soul, and a spirit. And if you're trying to say that those are three persons, but it's just one being, well, you're kind of using some, some language that isn't the best. Okay? Um, if you're saying, like the Catholics would teach, that there are three different people there, you know, and they, they look different. The one's an old man, the one's a young guy, you know, the Jesus guy, and then there's the bird. Uh, that's a problem. That is heresy. It's not what the Bible teaches. So, please stop teaching that God's pure word for the English-speaking people. KJV does not teach that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are persons, with each of them referred to as He, and many times by each other. Um, anyone who can read plain English can see this. Three persons means three gods, you say. Uh, no, it does not. It's, it's Bible teaching. Again, why is there such a spirit of lying here? Okay, not me, you, you here. Uh, it's Bible teaching. Okay, then, provide the scripture that says three persons. And I'll change. I'll change instantly. Somebody come out and say, show me the verse that says God in three persons. You know, doesn't he, Trinity is obviously not in there. I mean, drop the word Trinity. It's not in the Bible. You know it came from Tertullian. It's been used by the Catholic Church. Drop it. Just say, it's not there. Godhead. Godhead is used three times. All right? Use that term. That's the Bible term. What's wrong with that? Well, the Bible teaches the Trinity. It doesn't teach anything of the kind. The word's not there. Show me where it says three persons, and I'll, I'll change. Just like that. Uh, it's Bible teaching. Yeah. Unless you are going to redefine the word he and how it can be used. He is a male person or male animal. It does not mean parts. You also state that the Father is a soul and Jesus said he was a spirit. 
John 4, 20 through 24. The context is the Father. Um, the context is God. Okay? God is a spirit. Yes, God is a spirit. God is a soul. God is a body. But again, let's just say, okay, let's just say, I'm wrong it's saying God is the soul of the Godhead. Okay? God is a spirit. Okay? And the Holy Ghost is the soul. Jesus Christ can't be the soul, obviously. He would have to be the body. Okay? He was the one that had the body of flesh. So, um, in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. You understand that. Um, you're still not proving your point. If God is the Spirit and the Holy Ghost is the soul, you're still not proving your point. That they're three separate persons. Okay? And, of course, as I've said in different studies, a body, a soul, and a spirit can separate. Somebody kills me. It's my body that hits the ground. My soul and my spirit don't die. If somebody shoots me, you understand that? Okay, I'm seated together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus right now. How does that work? So I'm here, you're looking at me, you're looking at Brian Denlinger, but yet the soul of Brian Denlinger is up there. How does that work? Um, he is in heaven. He is on the earth. Oh, they're separate people. I'm going to get up there and I'm going to be looking at myself and say, oh, hi, hi, Brian. And he'll say, hi, Brian. And all of a sudden, about that time, the third member of the Brian Trinity comes along and says, hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Uh, no. Body, soul, spirit can separate, but it's just one being. Why is it so hard for people to get? I don't, I don't understand that. Um, why are you teaching he is a soul when the Lord Jesus said he was a spirit? You say he is a soul. Jesus says he is a spirit. I wonder which one of you two is correct. Uh, okay, the, the verse does not say God the Father is the spirit. Okay, it says God is a spirit. You're not proving anything there. God is a spirit. God is a body. God is a soul. Okay, these three are one. God is a spirit. Yes. <laughs> I've talked about that in studies. You're not watching this stuff. Again, a lot of these Trinitarians, they don't, they don't even watch. They don't even consider the arguments that I bring forth. Very narrow-minded, bigoted people. Uh, can you not see that your teaching is unbiblical? It violates both the Scriptures and the English language. Uh, no, it doesn't. You just aren't getting it. All right. This will probably fall on deaf ears, and I apologize if it's too blunt. But it's getting old, and you are making yourself look foolish. Do you think I care how I look? <laughs> you know? Oh, oh, I'm making myself look foolish. Oh, oh no. I'm, I'm, I'm going to break out in hives and a cold sweat and, and not be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> like someone who cannot read plain English. Uh, you, used, you used to stand for the KJV, and then our teachings need to line up with it. You know, our standard. Um, how has that changed? All the Trinity stuff and all this language and the three persons and God the Son, God the Spirit... All that stuff, uh, substance, consubstantial, you know, thing like the Catholics say, and divine essence and whatever else. Not in the King James Bible. From philosophy. I've proved it. Uh, my standards haven't changed. It's just I've kicked something that you're familiar with and that you're comfortable with, and that's why you're upset at me. This book teaches one God, three persons. Father, Word, slash Son, and Holy Ghost. And your teachings need to line up with that. Okay? Show me the verse of Scripture that says three persons. Those words, show me three persons. Show it to me. I'll change. I will come out and publicly declare I was wrong. I will say, okay, three persons. It seems you will not backtrack because you are afraid of what your YouTube buddies might think. Okay? When the old Brian couldn't care less, um, I still don't care. YouTube buddies? Yeah, it, it, it's so funny. I guess just got to say something here. People are getting so worked up, but I, I'm, I'm not even on every week. And we do this live stream thing and whatever else, and the trolls are coming over there, and they're trying to infiltrate and trying to post their comments, and we just get out of here. And people are commenting on our YouTube. Why are you so worked up? We're just a bunch of heretics. We're just a bunch of weirdos and whatever else. Why get so worked up? A lot of our enemies have live stream stuff. I don't go waste my time every time they have a live stream. Go watch it. And just, oh, are they talking about me? Oh, you know. 
I have a life. Okay. <laughs> uh, I hope you see your error and allow yourself to be corrected. I'm not wrong. Okay. Continuing to say the Bible does not teach three persons when it does, and saying the Father is a soul when he is not, is an outright lie. Um, okay. The Bible does not say God the Father is the Spirit. God is a spirit. Okay? God is a spirit. God is a soul. God is a body. People just don't get it. And, you know, the Bible does not teach three persons when it does. Okay? Chapter and verse, please. Show me where it says three persons. And then he goes into the thing of the uh, Webster's Dictionary 1828 here. Uh, person. I'm not going to read all that stuff. Can I, I, give me a break, people. The Father, um, and he has John 3.16, John 5.20, John 5.26. Uh, it says about he. Sure, sure. Uh, there's difference between a body, soul, and spirit. What's the problem? I don't, I don't understand what the problem is. The Son, in John 1.10, John 1.11, John 2.25, John 3.13. Again, he. Um, John 16, verse 8, John 16, verse 13, for the Holy Spirit. He, 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 he. Yeah, I don't disagree with any of that stuff. What's what's the uh, problem there? Okay. Uh, one, Webster's Dictionary, 1828. Uh, definition number eight, single by union, undivided the same. Okay. Then if God is one, then you're kind of disproving your own system there if you're a Trinitarian. Because Trinitarians teach that it's three different people. So uh, I don't even know why you would put that in there. Uh, you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot there, buddy. And, yeah, okay, we're back to the beginning. So, uh, I'll answer letters, certainly. Um, it's not going to fall on deaf ears. I listen to you. Uh, but you're wrong. Just as simple as that, you're wrong. The Bible never says three persons. You're grasping at straws to prove a papal doctrine, a doctrine that has no basis in the King James Bible. You're the one that needs to repent, not me.